we're learning to be tool safe. Watch this video to find out the safety guidelines for this tool. Cut-off saws are often referred to as quick cut saws, concrete saws, or similar descriptions. Cut-off saws are powerful, portable power tools used to cut concrete and stone in the landscape industry. Cut-off saws utilize diamond-tipped, carbide-tipped blades or abrasive discs to cut material. Diamond abrasive discs must be water-cooled since they generate a great deal of heat during cutting. In addition, the dust and noise associated with concrete or stone cutting requires additional personal safety protection devices such as dust masks, face shields, and hearing protection. Also make sure you are aware of where the cooling water will drain towards so you don't create a new hazard for slipping or electrocution. The gas-powered cutoff saw uses a loud engine that added to the noise from the blade cutting through concrete or stone can cause enough noise to permanently damage your hearing. Everyone working in close proximity must wear hearing and eye protection. As with all power tools and equipment, users should be aware of proper functioning of all working parts and guards. If you see something broken, worn out, or not functioning properly, tell your teacher right away before operating the saw. You are responsible to make sure all parts are functioning properly, including emergency stops, that the blade is not worn out, have chips or cracks, and everything is tight and secure. Don't expect the last person to care of everything. Make sure the saw is on a level and stable surface. Really look at your workspace environment. Depending on the shape, weight, and size of what you are cutting, you have to plan ahead. It's even a good idea to see which way the wind is going so that any dust or debris is moving away from you and other people. This machine can throw off debris, which can be a hazard to exposed hands and body parts. You must protect yourself by wearing long pants, safety boots, safety glasses, and a full face visor. The safety boots must be CSA approved and will feature a green triangle. A hard hat is also recommended to prevent injury to the head in the event of accidental flinging of chunks of material or shattered blade parts. With the loud, constant noise of the engine close to the operator, it is highly important that you wear hearing protection at all times the engine is running. Now would be a good time to check the fuel level. Unscrew the fuel cap and check the level. Always avoid breathing the fumes when using gas or gas oil mixtures. Make sure you are familiar with the MSDS for handling gas, filling gas with a gas can, and transporting and storing gas cans properly. Beware of getting any fuel on you or your clothes. Gas and oil are toxic, corrosive, and can be absorbed by your skin. Wash any affected areas before continuing. You should also review the MSDS for the oil used with your equipment. Some machines require a specific mix, and some have a separate fluid compartment for oil. Do not fill the tank in an enclosed area. Clean up any spills immediately, and do not start the cutoff saw with wet gas present on or near the engine. Don't leave combustible rags from cleanup in an enclosed space. After making sure the machine is ready, it is time to get the material to be cut ready. Make sure the material being cut is supported firmly against the fence so the blade will not bind in the cut and kick back toward the user. To start the machine, place one foot on the rear handle of the saw and one hand on the top handle to lift the blade of the surface. Use the other hand to pull the starter cord. This means you are really just starting the engine, not the saw action just yet. Never hold the saw with one hand and start the unit in a standing position, just in case there is a malfunction. Let the saw engine warm up, adjusting the choke until the unit is running smoothly. Start the saw and grip the saw firmly with one hand on each handle. Hold your forward arm straight to keep the saw from kicking back. Keep your body away from the line of the blade to avoid getting hit by any potential debris. Once the engine is warmed up, get ready to cut your material. Do not apply excessive pressure when cutting or try to make long, continuous cuts. Avoid overheating the blade. When you're underway, maintain the cut line even if the line or cut is incorrect. It's better that more material might be used up rather than risking injury. Once the cut is completed, turn off the saw using the kill switch. Let it cool. Remember, never refuel any machinery while the unit is still hot. Once you're done your cut, time to clean and check all the parts especially blade condition. Note any defective parts and tell your teacher about any issues. Replace non-functioning parts only if trained and instructed by your teacher. Also, if you're working with heavy materials like concrete, stone, and tiles, make sure you are lifting pieces properly and carefully. If you're working outside in cold weather, dress appropriately. If you're out in the hot weather, stay hydrated. Make sure you can focus safely on what you're doing by taking care of yourself. 
It's also a tool where you should have a buddy system in place and check in regularly. At the end of the day, put the saw away in storage. Proper maintenance and storage will keep the saw in good shape for safe operations into the future. Let's go over the important stuff, the tool safe review. Protect yourself with safety boots, eye and ear protection, and a helmet. Inspect the saw, operation, and blade condition before starting and report any problems. Make sure your cooling water supply is attached securely. Know where it's draining to. Control dust and overheating of the blade with adequate water cooling flow. Ensure your work materials are well supported and marked for cutting. Avoid breathing gas fumes and contact with your skin or clothing when filling. Keep your hands, body, and feet well away from the blade and debris path. Let others around you know when you are starting your work for their protection. And if you're not sure about anything for safety, ask your teacher for more direction. And don't forget to be tool safe.